All right, bandle time. Guess the song played by the band. It's presently loading. Refresh. It had loaded. So sometimes, I don't know, anybody here uh, like a web developer? Sometimes the, the packets just don't take. It's like it sends you on a, a, a cursed pipe. I don't know if it's that the pipe is broken or something. And then you just hit refresh and it's like, oh, we got you on the, we put you in the express lane this time. What's up with that? 2,245 million views. Mm -mm. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. 2002. Um, this is complicated by Avril Lavigne. It's not. Chill out, what you yelling for? Lay back, it's all been done before. You know what I'm realizing now? Johnny Cash would have fucking crushed a complicated cover. Chill out, what you yelling for? Lay back, it's all been done before. He would he would have fucking creamed on that, bro. Okay, let me get bass. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't know it yet. Let's go piano. Ooh! Oh, okay. Ah, uh, down. Uh, don't you bring me down today. What is this? Ah, uh, You Are Beautiful by Christina A. Oh, yes. Okay, we got there. This, this stream is dedicated to Christina Aguilera. Very uh, happy for her that um, her song Dirty was the, I guess it was like 38th most popular uh, song on Peloton this year. Congratulations to Christina Aguilera. That song's still paying dividends uh, 21 years after its release. All right, let's try that again. We are back. Um, yesterday, we got 11 minutes into a run. We're just going to you know, kill this one, even though I think we were kind of crushing it. Um, we got 11 minutes into a run. My daughter threw up like four times. And then uh, my wife said, let's go to the clinic. And I said, you know what? That's a good idea. Because she was sick last week and I was kind of like borderline on whether we needed to see a doctor. Then she got over it. And then when she was throwing up after, I was like, okay, let's not take chances with this one. As you know, I have some uh, trauma associated with the Canadian medical system. We drove to an urgent care clinic where we waited in line uh, for 20 minutes while my daughter threw up in a garbage bag in my arms. And then when we got to the front, they were like, next patient, please. We got up there. They didn't even listen to us. They just said, sorry, we're at capacity for today. We said, OK, what should we do? They said, um, well, if it's an emergency, go to the emergency room. And uh, if it's not an emergency, then you can come back in four or five hours and we might have extra space for you. So they basically said, like, you can't be sick today. And I said, thanks for your time. Wouldn't maybe behoove you to put a sign on the door or something so people are not waiting in a room uh, full of people who are coughing and hacking their lungs out just to be told there's no reason for them, them to be there to begin with. Your tax dollars at work. So then we drove um, another 30 minutes to a, a hospital, we went to the emergency room where I'm sure if you're an emergency room doctor, it sucks ass. You're like, why are people in here with like uh, tummy aches? Well, it's because um, the family doctors are all on holiday. The urgent care clinics uh, are non-functional unless you planned on being sick and thus showed up uh, before they even opened up so you could actually get one of those coveted appointment spots. So that's why everyone's at the emergency room. And then the emergency room was honestly fine. They got us into a room. We were in the emergency room for like, I don't know, like four or five hours, but that's just kind of par for the course. <laughs> and everything was okay. Our daughter stopped throwing up and then was like, I'm bored. And we're like, I know, but we're here because of you. And she's like, I want to go, I'm bored. And we're like, lady, we're here because of you. You just sit, sit down and relax. Don't worry about it too much. The cheese sandwich was the prescription. I'm not mad at the doctor, okay? I'm, I'm not smart, but I'm at least smart enough to know that 
like if you're a doctor and they come, someone comes in and says, my kid's been vomiting, but they're not vomiting anymore. And then like all the tests come back negative and their heart rate is normal, their blood pressure is normal, their temperature is normal. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to like give them some Molly Percocet just so that they like don't feel like they wasted their time. That's, that's not in keeping with the Hippocratic Oath. But basically the doctor did just say like, my diagnosis is vomiting without cause. And uh, then she said, we're going to get her a cheese sandwich. And if she digests it well for like 30, 45 minutes, then we're just going to send you home. So in hindsight, this is the, the, it's not a prisoner's dilemma. I guess it's just, this is what it's like to go to the emergency room for almost anything that's not like acute trauma caused by like a car accident or something. But you're like, do I really need to go to the emergency room? You take that bet. Sometimes you say yes, sometimes you say no. Um, this was one where, in hindsight, the answer was probably no, but there's no way for us to have known, which is why we shouldn't have been the emergency room to begin with, but that's what the urgent care is supposed to be for. But then the urgent care is full of people that are, should have been at their family doctor, but their family doctor doesn't take appointments anymore. So the whole system is like collapsing, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I want a cheese sandwich. That's POV, you're me after sitting in the emergency room for four hours and your daughter gets like the worst cheese sandwich of all time, but it looks so fucking delicious because you're starving. You don't even need me to, to tell you what my wife got for lunch after that or for dinner, I suppose. <laughs> you don't even need me to say it, bro. You don't need me to say it. You know, she's got the emote on her. And you know what? She was right. It hit the spot. It was very tasty. How would I fix it? Well, listen, it's not my area of expertise. It's not yours either, Diel Guiga, but that's never stopped you. And I respect that for you. But here's what I'll say. Chat doesn't like it when I say it. We would be fine if we doubled the amount of spots in med school. I recognize that this was an aberrant, or maybe this was the normal situation. By the way, Serval Simp, thank you as well for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Like, you don't need to do a four-year undergrad and then, you know, like, I don't know how many years of medical school plus how many years of residency in order to tell my daughter, like, you know, use a stethoscope on her and then also give her a cheese sandwich. Now, that's not what every case is going to be like in the emergency room. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like if, if we simply had more doctors, um, it would alleviate the situation mightily. That being said, if we had more doctors, necessarily the average, back me up on this, Diel Guiga, the average skill level of a doctor would fall by some level. I can't say if it's a lot or a little, but I think we could use slightly shittier doctors. Obviously, some doctors need to be incredibly smart. And in general, I don't want like, um, you know, people who are not academically motivated to be in charge of my health. But that being said, if people who get into med school are like the top 2% academically, we could probably make it like the top 4% academically. And I think we'd largely be fine. Yeah, can't we just have like a lower tier of doctor? Not, not as like, not lower tier as like a human being, but lower tier as like, you know, they have less urgent responsibilities, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Pyromaniac. I want the good doctor though. Well, here's the thing. I, I, if I'm getting open heart surgery, I want the best doctor. I don't want the good doctor because that's the dude from the TV show, right? I am a surgeon. I am a surgeon. But if I'm just like in the emergency room and I'm like, I, I basically just need you to give me a cup to do a urine sample and then antibiotics for what's ever in my urine. I don't really mind if you're like a bottom quartile doctor. Let the, the Point Dexter Andes like do the doctor house stuff. You just interpret my results. It'll, it'll even have like a little asterisk next to the thing that you're supposed to look at. And then you just type that into the computer there. And... Um, It'll tell you what antibiotics to give me, and that should be totally fine. Plus, I'm already getting, like, bottom quartile doctors. I'm not saying the doctors I have are bad. I'm just saying there's no way for me to possibly evaluate that, you know, at runtime. It's not like you go to the ER and they're like, you know, you can have a good doctor in 10 hours or we can just give you whoever's available next. Like, you just get whoever's available, bro. 
They're already, when you come in with a tummy ache, they're probably giving you the shitty doctor anyway, because the good doctor is like removing shrapnel from somebody's skull. Last time I saw my GP, he was actually Googling my symptoms in front of me. I think that's like what it should be, right? Like, you can't expect like you walk into your doctor's office and then, you know, you tell him you got a sore throat and a tummy ache and then the dude is like, oh, I know, exa you've got toxoplasmosis, right? Like you, you, you can't have an encyclopedic knowledge of absolutely every possible condition out there. That's, that's what, that, is that why they go into the room? You tell them the symptoms, then they go, oh, I'll be back in just a minute. Then they go WebMD it in the other room. I think it also kind of sucks to be a GP, to be fair. Like, uh, ignoring the economics of it. Because aren't there only, like, unless you have something incredibly specific, aren't there like eight symptoms for every disease on the planet? And it's just like the, con the, f the flavoring combinations thereof is what determines what you have. Like everything is some combination of like sneezing, fever, runny nose, sore throat, shortness of breath, um, weight loss, weight gain, hives, pain, or like can't sleep, sleep too much, cough, diarrhea. Yeah, that's or rash. That's it. You're like, well, you could have like, um, it could be totally fine. You could have the common cold or your kidneys could be failing. I also think it probably sucks to be a doctor because at least in the emergency room, people don't want to feel like they wasted like, you know, eight hours in there. That's why I had sympathy for our doctor when she told us like, we don't really know what caused the vomiting, but she seems fine now. If she continues to be fine, I wouldn't worry about it. First instinct is like, bro, why are we even here? Second instinct was like, what is she supposed to do? She's supposed to be like... Thanks for coming. Here's, uh, here's some pills anyway. <laughs> Just to say thank you for your continued service. Uh, we don't want to lose your business here. Here's, here's a couple uh, fentanyl lollipops for the road. I think that's fair. She couldn't, you know, there's nothing she could have done to, to really make me happy in that situation. I was just happy to hear that my child was okay. The other clinic, though, where they were, we waited in line surrounded by sick people for 20 minutes just to be told, hey, you shouldn't be here anyway, we're full. Even though the fucking website said that they had a 55 minute wait time. What, the website doesn't work? Why are you posting the website as if it works? Anyway, I was like, when I was driving to the other hospital, I was like, I'm going to take the ferry to Victoria and do like a filibuster on our premiere because this shit is, does not work, it's broken, bro. Also, we parked in the short term parking lot. It said two hour maximum. We parked there fucking five and a half hours, didn't get a parking ticket. I take that as an absolute dub. But then I was like, you know what? You gotta be some kind of ghoul to call a tow truck on somebody in the hospital parking lot. That's actually like Ebenezer coded. That's my job. I feel bad for you. Cause like, I know you're just making ends meet. Your boss is going to burn in hell for eternity though. <laughs> You're probably fine. You're just the cog in the machine. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the mechanism. Your boss is going to, he's going to suffer for eternity. Here's my thoughts on towing. Now, admittedly, I'm not someone who owns a parking lot, okay? When is towing okay? If someone parks their car in a place where traffic cannot flow, like the lane is supposed to be for driving, but they have parked in it, they should be towed. One time I went to an appointment at the bank. I parked in front of the bank. The appointment went long. I didn't realize that the lane became non-parking driving only for rush hour. So when I went out, my car had been towed. And I said, that sucks. But then after like a minute, I was like, that's fair. I was blocking something I shouldn't have been blocking. I just didn't realize. If you are simply in a parking spot too long, you can't tow somebody for that, man. At least not over for like an hour. I think that over for like a day, like if they're there overnight, you can tow for them. Because towing is going to ruin somebody's day. They're going to get out, probably need to go somewhere. Oh, my car is not here. Now I got to take my ass, um, you know, across town in an Uber go to a tow lot where they're going to be like, oh, it's, uh, you know, 200 bucks to get your car back. And you got to be like, wah, 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 that's too much money. And they're like, what are you going to do about it? And you're like, mm, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
good point. Here's your money. In the USA, it's like 300. This is not your fault. You're, you're the victim of this, not the perpetrator. The, and this happens every time I have to interface with doctors in Canada. You can't talk about it because Americans uh, half rightfully think that the whole world revolves around them. So anytime you're like, I had a shitty experience, people are like, yeah, but at least it didn't cost you $1,500. And I'm like, just shut up, man. People are just complaining. They have the right to complain. It's like, why are there only two Americans? We're number one. We're number one. And then the other half of the country is like, we're number fucking however many countries there are in the world. We're number 214. We're number 214. Like, let people just talk, bro. In fact, I almost think that Canadians are God's strongest soldiers. Because if you ever talk about anything that costs money, or that, sorry, any, any service, here's what you get. You get... Um, 700 million Europeans going, actually, in Denmark, school is free. And then you get 400 million Americans going, actually, in America, school's like a million dollars. And you're like, okay, buddy, I guess this one's just for the Canadians. F fuck me for living in the country in which I live, bro. It's crazy when you see a first-time chat highlighted in that box, and it's an essay. That is a comment, you could not pay me to read it, quite frankly, because it is coming from a place of... I mean, it, <laughs> if your first message is an essay, if that's what motivated you to exit lurk mode, I, God, more power to you, by the way, but I will not be reading that. That's, a, that's the scariest thing I could imagine. Y'all can laugh? <laughs> oh, wait, okay, hang on, let's see. Let's see, slash user. Let's read it, because I was rude. <clears throat> Man, following since April 2nd of this year, first message in chat. That's kind of crazy. Americans are sensitive to Canadian bitching about healthcare because many people had friends or family die or go into bankruptcy over lack of access. Yeah, yeah, but like, I, I'm sent, listen, you've backed me into a corner because you basically said like shit sucks here more than it sucks, you, shit sucks there more than it sucks here, which I believe, to be honest with you. Every time, like, I, I used to be in the habit of, like, complaining to my brother-in-law, who is American. Um, I would be like, our healthcare system is falling apart. And he would be like, I'd describe the exact situation to him. And he would be like, yeah, it's exactly the same in the United States of America. But you have to pay money for it. And I was like, no, 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 you don't get it. That's not possible. Because it's so bad here. Like, it's, it feels like just adding, but my, like, my idea of America is like, oh, you've got a problem? It's unsolvable. But then if you pull, like, a crisp $100 bill out of your pocket, they, like, drive up to your house in a limousine and give you, like, a, a, a liver transplant or something like that. Apparently it is bad everywhere, and you have to pay for it. That being, or bad, at least in here and there, and you have to pay for it. But, at the same time, like, not everybody complaining about the healthcare system where they live is an invitation for you to air your grievances with the United States of America. I don't live, there's a lot of reasons I don't live there. I wasn't born there. They probably wouldn't take me. I don't really understand how the immigration system works. You know, just like let people complain, bro. Tiny rogues when? It might happen. As I get older, I'm learning to fight an impulse. And that impulse... You, you could call it contrarianism. I, I call it more, um, it's like a, a gaming conspiracy theory. Anytime, like, 20 people all start talking about something in chat, I get a little sus. I think it's like a paid astroturf thing. Everybody, there was no discourse on Tiny Rogues, and then people started to go, Hey, NL, when's Tiny Rogues coming back? Tiny Rogues had a big update. And I started to be like, you think I don't see that shit? I'm busting this whole system wide open. Um, but then it turns out I just had an update that has been very, very well received. That's gang stalking. Okay, but in a non-gaming context, what is gang stalking? Isn't that the thing that people uh, think they have when they've gone crazy? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but is it also a real thing? Can you be gang stalked while being gaslighted? Can you be gang stalked about gaslighting? It's a delusion that a ton of people are dedicated to stalking you. Have they added like a little wrinkle if you're a streamer? It's fake for most people, but real for most big streamers. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> 
Gang, thank you for giving me a term. That shit's been happening to me nonstop, bro. You should go to the subreddit. <clears throat> Why? Why are so many people telling me to go to the subreddit all of a sudden? <laughs> Wait a minute. You know what? Everyone's telling me I'm being gang stalked. There is no shot I'm being gang stalked. You're all gaslighting me into thinking I'm being gang stalked. Being a streamer is a little bit like being gang stalked. I wouldn't know about that because I just, you know, discovered essentially what the term meant. I don't know, like 41 seconds ago. Can I tell you something crazy as well? When my in-laws, you will not believe this, but I swear to you it's true. When my in-laws were at our house, they, and they, you know, they, they stay over now and then, a few times a year. We stay over at their place too. They said, Ryan, can we ask you a question? Do you ever like uh, get angry or raise your voice? And I said, you know, like sometimes it happens. And then they said, because really like every time we're here, you seem like the most patient person on the planet. And I said, I don't know if that's true, but, um, you know, I do, t I, I think that I like pretty mellow most of the time. And then I was thinking about it and I talked to them, by the way, Awkward Kuma, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I told them in all honesty, I was like, I think it's because I get to yell at my job a lot, which is like, to be honest with you, most of the time they deserve it. And I literally, most of the time, they're asking for it. It's not like they're typing like, Hey, King, we love you. And I'm like, go suck a fat dick, asshole. Eat shit. Like, most of the time, they're typing like little snippy stuff. And then I fire back. And they're like, whoa, how could you say that to me? But I do think that it, it helps. You know, you get out a little bit of aggression. And then in your home life, you're like a little bit more chilled out. Like I said, the, the, the title of the stream is real. This week should not exist. So I'm not going to stress out about too much. Like definitely five years ago, taking four days off for the holidays, streaming for 18 seconds, and then immediately having to cancel that stream and go to the hospital would have been like annoying for me. I would have been stressed out. I would have been, oh fuck, people need their Isaac episodes. I'm letting the community down. <laughs> Yesterday, and, and over time, I've mellowed out a little bit. And uh, I was like, bro, it's fucking December 27th. Ain't nobody doing shit anyway. Asterisk. If you're the cashier at Old Navy or the doctor who treated us, you were doing something yesterday. But like, if you're just a normal, you know, I was going to say a normal person. I didn't mean for that to sound like that. But if you're a person working in like an office or something like that, if you work at like, a, I don't know, an insurance company or you've got like, oh, my client's coming to meet me on December 20th. No, they fucking aren't, bro. They're in like... Uh, the Hamptons right now, or like upstate Connecticut, okay? Your standards are so low these days. Hey, Slatis Cots, don't make me um, go to your YouTube profile and see all the unhinged comments you wrote on Slay the Spire videos uh, five years ago. Actually, six, almost seven years ago. It's almost 2024. You think I've forgotten about your name? You think I can't just go to Corey's chat as a mod and type slash user Slatis Cots and see everything you've written in there over 10 years of Corey streams? Why are you obsessed with us? I remember Slattis Cots, because, and again, I'm not necessarily saying you're wrong. There were dozens of people who agreed with you based on the thumbs up on the comments. I remember you saying things like, the only reason I leave those comments on Slay the Spire videos is because I know you're smart and I want you to do better, okay? I know you are smart, NL, just unaware. Maybe people don't change. Hang on. Okay, slash user Slattis Cots. One timeout is crazy. <clears throat> 999. Holy cow. One second here. I can't even fit this shit on the damn screen. Account created July 30th, 2017. Following since July 30th, 2017. Holy bro. <laughs> I made you. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. Hang on. He was born just to hate. That's crazy. You know what? I'm thinking like July 30th, 2017. That's like exactly in my Slay the Spire era. I'm betting you got sick of leaving comments that I didn't read because I recorded 22 episodes of Slay the Spire in one afternoon and uploaded them over the course of a month. And you're like, no, no, no. This guy's got to see these. I'm going to Twitch chat. 
my ass playing human fall flat, trying to grab my friend and swing across a bridge. Hey, just so you know, pommel strike is actually like better than headbutt in almost every single way once your deck size is under nine, you motherfucker. <laughs> you think I don't see that shit? It's not that I'm unaware, okay? It's that my limited amount of brain space is dedicated to storing your fucking chat history, bro. I don't like it either. I didn't tell my brain to store that shit. That which you give attention to grows, my friend. I was glancing. <laughs> <clears throat> I did the same thing with XCOM in 2013. Okay, but let's do like an A-B test here, okay? Hang on. Hang on. That's Spike City. Slash user Spike City. It's been 10 years. What do you got in there? Three timeouts. One of them is from Sir Toasty, but that was two years ago. Papa John's, Munka S, Munka S, Munka S, Lootless Larry, No Loot, Stolen Valor, Stolen Valor, I Can't, Munka S, Lull, Lull, Lull. See, you've changed. You're reformed now. You're not like, hey, just so you know, once you get to heroic level in XCOM, it's actually better to hunker down than to make a blue move and then Overwatch, because your Overwatch percentage chance to hit has a debuff because of the fact that you're behind half, you know... It's but you become a type B chatter. I respect that. Then we go slash users. Slatis. Slatis cots. They're back. They're not hiding anymore. I don't even watch live that much lately. Otherwise, I should talk more. Okay. 40 chat messages today. 30 chat messages yesterday. It was like a five minute long stream. December 19th, one message. Will NL play something else today? Uh, looks like, I don't know, like a hundred messages on the stream before that is like, I don't know, 30 messages on the stream before that. Why are you lying, bro? Why are you lying? I can see your chat history. You're hooked up to the fucking polygraph, fucker. Just admit you like the content and then take the joke. You're here. Obviously you've been here for 10 years. Of course you like the content. No, but I actually kind of don't like you. What are you talking about? We're here together, bro. It's a tables, ladders, and chairs match. It's like Michael Scott said. Do cage matches work? Of course. Otherwise, they'd still be in the cage. <laughs> yeah, why are you being so sundere about it? You can't sustain yourself as a hate watcher for seven years just because like, I undervalue card draw as the silent and slay the spire. Obviously, you're getting something out of the content, okay? And that's good. I support that. But let's keep it real here, brother. <laughs> we don't need to mislead one another. I mean, when I audit you, it's like Ice Spice featuring Nicki Minaj, Princess Diana. If he's smart, he's gonna act like a fan. But if you're dumb, you're gonna hit up my gram. So fucking keep it smart. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't have like a good ending line. Ice Spice mentioned. I know all about Ice Spice. I know all about three of her songs. My biggest pet peeve is you don't consistently draw first. Cool. My biggest pet peeve is uh, inequality. See, now we're getting somewhere. We're having a good conversation. Are you a munch? I think I'm, I'm absolutely a munch. Um, because on every Ice Spice song, she says, Stop playing with them, Ryan. So obviously I'm a munch. I might be the munch. Card draw or healthcare? I reject the question. You can't reject the question. I think we can have both. You can't have both. Card draw or healthcare? <laughs> it's healthcare, by the way. But like, if only if it works. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday we didn't really get either. We didn't get card draw or health. Well, we got healthcare. It just took a while. You know what the other thing is? When, this, is a, this is not going to fix the healthcare system. This is like a Silicon Valley solution. No offense to Silicon Valley, okay? But you know what would make... Uh, well, it would be a huge privacy violation, but you know what would make waiting in the emergency room easier? Is if the doctors wore a body cam so you could see what the doctors were doing when they weren't treating you. Because... The, the human mind is like, I'm in the room, you know, with my family, 
and then we wait four hours, and then the doctor comes in and says, she seems okay, here's a cheese sandwich. We're like, really? You couldn't have just done that in, in three seconds? But if there was like a body cam on, and I could see the doctor doing like trauma surgery and like intubating somebody and like fixing someone's fucked up like broken leg or something like that, then I would be like, oh, thank you for giving us some time. I'm, you, I saw your ass was like busy as fuck. Because in my head, your ass was back there playing like, you know, Candy Crush, and then eventually you're like, ah. <laughs> Guess I gotta get them out of the room. Here, oh, just give them a cheese sandwich and tell them to fuck off. <laughs> I'm sure you're actually like busy all the time, but I, because I can't see it, it doesn't exist to me. The courage of Cali dog ass noise. Hello, gamers. Hello. Oh, he's here. I'm here. Did you win? <laughs> I, well, you I don't want to spoil it for people that might just be joining. Did you win? Did you win? Yeah, yeah, I won. Nice. <laughs> nice. But it was, it was it was close. Like it was I think it nice, was like Dad. eight Sorry. seven or something. <laughs> Did you send any turn to nurdle him? No, we didn't have time. <laughs> Do you want to restream the save file? Yeah. Oh yeah, we got a good one going. What? We're, We're loading a save? I didn't know. Oh, that. Wow. <laughs> you can do that. It's an awfully brave game to save. Oh, hey. wow. coming in oh, hot dude. Hot, hot, dude. Like do. dude. What? Oh, and I have to update all of my mods first. I'm gonna drive a car. I hope I don't hit a car. Don't pa. Do <laughs> 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 yep. yep. My son is mine. That. He's not even mine. Sorry. <laughs> I was just, I watched that for the first time yesterday when we were playing. Because I was like, I want to hear this, like what he actually does. So normally. He's just like, that's an awfully hot coffee pot. I know, it's not even... <laughs> I think it's because he goes... Vroom! So everyone's just yeah, put yeah, that yeah, yeah, voice yeah. of his into everything yeah. else he's done. And then he, asks, he says, should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eminem. You we're... really... Whew. Last Thanks. time, were we rich or were we poor? We were rich. We were okay. Because he's just in a parking a garage with like a bunch of cars behind him and like a bunch of dudes, and he just like walks forward and he like hugs himself and like thinks for a while. What? It's very weird. That's so deep. Crack open. A a, what'd you crack open? A, I heard that's that. That's a Coke Zero. Um, I thought we Ludwig were getting was joining. A, a genuine. Uh, vanilla cream soda, because it's pretty good. Do, when you guys get out of your so computer chair, do you walk like a normal person, or do you kind of like hop around? Mod, his YouTube video. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Fuck it up. Ryan. Yes. What? what? I kind of hop I... around. Like, when I get out of my computer chair, I don't turn to the left to walk away like a robot. Like, I get up and I kind of like bounce a little bit on my foot to sidle out of the chairs. What? You don't do that. You just What's walk. It? You like crab walk out of your chair? Not crab. Walk. What do you like a little, <laughs> like a little, like a little skip? I guess. He's no. Getting old. Nope. I stand up and walk. That's crazy, bro. You're like Asimo. <laughs> no, no, I, I kind of get it. Like for the first like five minutes of the day, I feel like I'm so at risk of falling like downstairs or like just over in general. What? I hear you. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm, 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 that's not true at all, actually. I was just fucking around, guys. Are you all right? No, I think my body is weak. I mean, yeah. Oh, hey, Anyone no, else have exploding flesh, head syndrome or just me, guys? <laughs> I think we talked about here. that. No, it's real. Yeah. It's real, Ryan. Yeah. yeah. I know it's real. real. I don't have it, it though. Oh. I think. Oh. What is it? Me and Chibli described it, and then Chad was like, that's exploding head syndrome. It's, it's weird when you're that. trying to sleep. You know that that uh, pipes falling an hour of uh, an hour of silence <laughs> with pipes falling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine that sound like a hundred x space boosted. When you're trying to sleep, that will like play. It will go like, oh, oh, and you're like, what the fuck? Bob? <laughs> what are you talking about? You get, right you get, you get no, anything? Right. It's <laughs> real. He did really <laughs> hard. I didn't get any of When you're that, trying man. to sleep, you just robot. hear like an exploding sound in your head. Like, yeah, not yeah, an yeah. actual explosion, but like, a, just a loud, painful sound. It's just a loud sound, yeah. And it's like really loud, but like, it's not real, so it's confusing. 
That's so weird. Yeah. It's like so loud it hurts. Like it hurts. It hurts to hear. That's so weird. You both have it? Go it. Yeah, well sometimes for me it. it's like a it's like a someone saying something like really close in your ear. Like I'll hear like a what? single word. Yeah. No, That's scarier no, than no, me. No, 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 dude, well, no, it's still it's not like it's not like a voice like a or a voice. It's just kid. one single word. It's usually like a hey <laughs> or something. <laughs> Dude, that's the green goblin mask. Uh, it is once again not stormy for me. Weird, dude. Yes, yeah, you got to your. Oh! oh. oh. So he, he, died? Died. he died. He died. That was lightning, huh? <laughs> he died, is that Ryan? Man. I know, I'm still here. No, that was, that was Ghibli. Ghibli. <laughs> was that lightning <laughs> in the middle of all of us? It was. Yeah. He's just dropped dead <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> Oh my dude, is that exploding head syndrome? <laughs> he really oh, does have exploding cord. head syndrome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I've been How watching. Did, that uh, turn isn't even that dangerous. Well, when man. I say How watching, I, like I've, I've seen like eight minutes of Squeaks doing yeah. it. He's, he's cut out for it, man. I feel like I should. What's your open. favorite um, line from Ramaswamy? Day one, I guess. Day one! Oh, he gets it, guys. He's one of us. It's crazy. I have to be careful. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I forget Hello. that his character is a real person, us. and yes, on stream yesterday, I said I, I should not. I can't wait for passing. his character's name to die, see. and then I realized. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, yeah. I think the, uh, yeah, but like, I, yeah, I, like I said, I don't have lightning in my game. Yeah. That is how that is how one of my mods got banned from the entire website. And I think I said assassinated, not died. So I think it was even a little bit worse. I think it was a little bit worse. Oh man! What was that noise? You're right. Oh, we've been doing Cher and Shakira impressions without you. Okay. That's a good Cher impression. Wait, I see what you're saying, because Shakira is kind of like Spanish Cher with the... She's got that, like, frog throat thing going on. No disrespect. I... No one was fucking with me when I said they had the right, same so vibes. Like, really? They're not the same vibes at all, bro. Like, oh, they do! Shakira goes like... Oh, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, yeah. Wait, did it move it? Then Cher's like, roller, roller, roller. I know what you're talking about. I'm lost. I knew you had my back, Ryan, Gary. That's because these guys don't know Cher and Shakira as well as we do. Wait, I'm so good at it. La 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 la. I know what you're talking about. Forever California roll. I know what he's talking about. <laughs> There's a man with a shotgun, bro! Oh my god! There's a- What?! The fuck is that, bro?! The nutcracker?! What is the nutcracker doing in there?! Oh my god! <laughs> He's reloading! <laughs> Which one are you open the door?! Reloading. Uh, oh fuck! Or thank you for the they can, they can open doors for sure. Dude, they it's they, they open the door. They can't hear this. Oh my god, dude's back here. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Give me some. Oh my god, reloaded, no, they're bro. all dead. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Okay, I'll stop doing the impression, guys. It's pretty worry. good though. Thank you. Don't enable me, man, because I'll <laughs> do it every day for like the next three weeks. What the fuck happened? Uh, we got killed by a uh, nutcracker wait, holding a shotgun. a shotgun. Yeah, right, but like, why? None of you left. I didn't know. I've never Did seen that guy before. Right Thank you. Thank you. He's not wrong. Right no, there. none of us left. I know this ship's musty as hell, dude. <laughs> That's why I open the door it's as soon stink. as I can. Yeah, it smells crazy in uh, there. It smells like when you forget to put your clothes from the wash into the dryer. Uh huh. I, I relate awful. to that now. I got a dryer finally. Yay! <laughs> I'm big on dryer talk. <laughs> now. Ten tips for using your dryer. 
You see one where it's like, put a dryer sheet in the dryer every time you use it, and then the next one immediately scroll, dryer sheets are bad, do not use this. <laughs> like, oh, <holy> shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, why are dryer sheets bad? They like, uh, they're, they're not good for your clothes, apparently, and they're also not good for your dryer. Apparently. What does this dude know? He puts his jeans in the freezer. I don't put my jeans in the freezer. <laughs> I said people do. All right. I there's, uh, there's flashlights coming. Can you guys come help me pick them up? Corey, be like, hey, before I come home from work, can you take the jeans out and leave them in the sink to defrost? I'm going out tonight. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Did fuck. Catch on fire? I don't uh, know. I'm always clean worried that traps they out. will. Like, yeah, you got to clean the lint trap. My mom is very, every time I use it, she's like, as soon as it's done, turn it off, because they catch on fire. And then I washed my bedding in it the other day, well, I dried my bedding, and she's like, oh, it's linen, it's gonna catch on fire. And I'm like, what the, what have you been, it's, it's, like, it's not, it's not that bad. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't start a fire under the clothes to dry them. <laughs> so I think it's fine. <laughs> yeah. You just, you just gotta clean the lint trap out. So like, bro, right have you ever seen them, like, try to make a yeah, fire on Survivor? Yeah. They need, like, a, a PhD and 10 tons of completely dry wood, like the sweatshirts are not going up. I mean, I used to throw batteries into fires and they never even blew up. Like, shit is fuck? hard. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> that explains a lot, I was, honestly. I was like eight, seven or eight. That's fine. Dude, we're rich. Also, I used to put fireworks in glass bottles and then put the lid on. No, that's a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I mean, I was, uh, I didn't do that. Oh, That's hypothetical. <laughs> What's this? Dude? Hypothetically, though, it's like dude? a grenade. Okay. I mean, it's not really a bomb. It's just like loud. It's like that dude on yeah, TikTok. Right? Do you, ever, yeah, fine. Fine. do you ever see that TikTok where he pulls out the knife and he says, cocaina? No, it's just flour. Oh, a yeah. lot of people ask me why I hate the military. Running. Yeah. <laughs> Cocaina. No. Flour. Somebody just asked me um, why I hate the military. God, I, uh, I gotta find the pictures, but there's a one-two punch of uh, me lighting a bottle rocket in a friend's mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> and, like, there's joy in my eyes, and then a photo of him with, like, what looks like a cartoon cigar exploded in his face. That is oh, great. No. Oh, no. He didn't man. let go? What was that? He didn't let go? Not not until it was way too late. <laughs> <laughs> that thing just blasted his face full yeah. of uh, we fire. We tried. Essentially. This is my jerry can of gasoline. My brother blew up himself and his two kids. You, you ever see that one? Here's my gas can. My brother Josh blew himself up and his two kids. What did you used to do? You used to buy fireworks too? Yeah, we used to go to uh, Pennsylvania. That's so funny because I would leave I Pennsylvania to go to Maryland. We used to spend hundreds of dollars and put on like this crazy display behind my, my friend's like townhouse. That's wild. Oh, it was so fun. Until like one time I tried setting them off at my uh, my girlfriend at the time's log cabin on New Year's and a mortar <laughs> shot like one shot and then it, it angled directly towards her house and that shot her oh, house. I was present to a mortar misfire that just exploded in the street. That shit was terrifying. I'm not a fireworks okay. guy, but my friend's dad used to light them off for Canada Day. And every yeah. year, it was the exact same thing. It was like, really? uh, it was eight minutes of everyone going like, woo! And then like yeah. one would go off and then everyone would like go off trajectory. And then everyone would get like really quiet. And then like three yeah. of the dads would go run out into the field to try to find it. And then like the vibe was off for the rest of the night. Yeah, yeah. Vibes are just fucked after that. It's uh, it's terrifying when they go the wrong way. Oh yeah. You're like, I'm just dealing with explosives here, aren't I? Yeah.
Oh. <laughs> he scared the shit out of me, bro. <laughs> the fucking thing fucked up. I was so scared. <laughs> the dog hit the whippy cushion. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I feel like Chip and I died oh, because man. of a robot. <laughs> Bro, it was the man, we got to the robot. God, you guys gotta see my perspective oh my of when I walk God. into the ship and there's like bodies hanging from the damn ceiling, dude. It is so funny. Oh, <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I die and then I hear like. <laughs> 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 no, I was sitting right here, dead silent, and the dude killed Corey and just jumped straight for me. And then he was like, just in the just on the roof, on the top just of the robot. playing with the robot. <laughs> I was trying to get it to stop. <laughs> Wow, my legs, fuck. Oh no. That was so fucking funny. The fart is the this scariest fart I've time. ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude. I'm investing in so I don't get randomed again, dude. Oh, I don't want to get randomly killed. Bye-bye. Right. <laughs> really funny. I have feet that aren't mine. Found them. Oh. <laughs> it's this way. Oh, fuck! Uh, this shit oh. sucks! Whoa! Whoa. I was just faking it. Yeah, that, was, that was a little fake reaction. Oh, you know what? That was good. You sold it good. Dang, I haven't been scared in a while. <laughs> hey, there's nothing behind me. You should run down it. Ah, uh, just kidding. So many landmines? Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, it's a big landmine that. It's so- there's so many. Oh, it comes to the- Oh! Alright. Oh! Oh! Uh. I was trying to get you killed. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking locked, man. I knew it would be. I ain't got no keys. Oh, there's a key over here. Hold on. What the oh, hell is that, bro? Right. You fucking bug. There's a bug. It's all right. I lost the bug. I'm gonna unlock this door. Bro, he's on me. Hello. Every time you guys say inverse TP, I just imagine someone cleaning their paper with shit, like not cleaning their shit with paper. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like reverse TP sounds right to me. Inverse TP is like, inverse like it's, is it's, like, it's from Tenet. You're just shoving How many squares in your ass? Why is the How many growling? squares are y'all using? Uh, no, 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 uh enough. Uh, three, three squares at a time. Three? That's it? I use like six, and, and I fold it. How are you getting on your hands? What? I have a bidet, motherfucker. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I, uh, Man, why are my you household six, ran out of bro? toilet paper, so I've been wiping my house with paper towels, bro. Do you you can't flush those! I have to! There's poop on them! What do you want me to do? There's 
poop in the trash. You can't yeah, flush those. It's gonna mess up the pipes. Be like, look, look no, I, I was, put them in the trash I was can. very conscious. I used one paper towel to wipe my entire ass the other day. <laughs> oh God, that must have been fucking disgusting. No, I ripped, I ripped it into fours, and then I used, I used this, four of them. This guy's folding a six pieces of toilet paper in half, but no, using one toilet, one piece of well, uh, paper it was, towel. It was a ghost wipe. It was a ghost wipe. So I got, I got lucky. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> Dude's like, uh, so dude's two shits away from having to use like ripped out magazine pages. <laughs> I have used a page off a calendar before. <laughs> what the hell, man? A calendar? Yeah, we used to have a colander in the bathroom. Actually, now that I think about it, that's probably why we don't have a colander in the bathroom anymore. Because when I was young, I wiped my ass with like December, and then I, <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think we had a colander the next year in the bathroom. You know, your, your mom was like, "Oh, who marked rigid? Who marked this special date in December?" <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, I only wiped my ass with like the seventh. That's fucking ass Wednesday, bro. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Did you hear that? Time to go. Uh, I'll give him a key. Yes. <laughs> He's loaded with keys. Oh, oh, oh! I go at him. We have to go at him. We have to go at him. Fuck you, bro. I'm out this bitch. Son of a bitch. What is this Scooby Doo ass shit, man? Hello? You know what? If it worked one way. Come here. You know what? If it worked one way. Come here. Idiot. All right, I need your help. <laughs> what do we do? We can't. We can't go the other way. No. No, 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 look at the, look at this door. Room, look at this door. We can't go there. Wait, no, no, man, are you crazy? It's locked. Why? Wait. Bro, there's a, you, there's a dumper's arm sticking out through it. Oh, I don't see that. Oh. I didn't see that. I wish it wasn't locked. Oh. That was so funny. Oh, my God. I don't know how long that door is going to hold that spring in, by the way. <laughs> Fuck me in office. <laughs> This was the uh, the room that looks like the purple room. Uh, what is? It? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, someone. I think someone died while I was yelping. <laughs> Something could happen. <laughs> oh, there is my body right there. <laughs> oh, 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 no. oh, 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 my God. I don't know how long that door's gonna hold that spring man, by the way. I'm gonna throw it at you. <laughs> oh man, that was scary, dude. That was the funniest fun. I I swear uh, this game has some sort of engine to fucking create those uh, moments. Where's the uh, where's the power core? Oh, go in the bit here. I'll just I'll show you. Peter, the power boy's in there. Oh yeah, Lois. Peter. Peter, bring the badger still. My yeast infection's acting up. Wow, Peter, that's okay, just really like the close. time you had to bring the badger still to Lois because her yeast infection was acting up. It's a pretty good Brian. Thank you. Thank you. I was trying. It's just you. <laughs> yes, delightful. Just watch me fall. Don't help me at all. Don't worry, I've got it. It's not like I'm a British infant. You know what I'm talking about? He's losing his mind. 
family I don't guy. Know what's going on? He's, he's running a whole weird, like, triple X family guy. It's my family one man family. show, my one man family sh family guy show. They just saw the Bracken. Wow, Peter, this is just oh, like no, the time no, you no, saw no, the no, Bracken. No. Hey, maybe we should just leave. I feel like we've got almost everything this map could offer. We have gotten. We can kill him. We can kill him. We can kill him. How do you, uh. Stand ground. Stand ground. I don't remember how. I don't know how to get him, like, to not hit you. Do you have to, like, strafe around him? Smack him in the head. He's right here. We, we cut, these guys are fucking off. Oh, no. Oh, are you kidding me? Why? 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 Because you, he was looking at you full speed. We have two shovels. We were looking for trouble, dude. <laughs> well, now we have no shovels. Now we have two of you and no we shovels. We were going to go to battle. How am I supposed to know that, man? We bought like 10 shovels, bro. I bought them. Damn, look at all this loot. Oh, dude, this is your is money now? Enormous day. I'm just saying, how am I supposed to know if I bought them? You didn't buy them and go, we're going to fucking oh, fuck shit up with man. this, man. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, we're man. Gonna, we, I mean, you you saved him, honestly. Yeah, it's good. You, you did some good comment today. You saved the, a bad guy. Receiving signal. Spring. 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 We should be able to beat the shit. Oh, no, he doesn't take damage. Spring ma. <laughs> yeah, spring mom. We watched uh, Dave Val. Don't go that way. Don't go there. That's a spring man. J needs H. It stands for help, and the J stands for me. J needs H. It stands for help, and the J stands for me. So good. Wow! That was pretty impressive. Chip. Chip. F you. Chip fucked me? No, no he's safe! No, no! I had. I know, but I needed Chibli to suffer because he got everyone killed. He's got a bug. I made the jump in every... <laughs> oh, he really screwed Jim real bad. This dude's too quick on the teleporter, bro. Oh, man. Oh! <laughs> Spring mom. Oh, he doesn't know it's the dead end. Oh, no. He's got it. He's got it. He's gaming. <laughs> I didn't even hear the damn spring hit. <laughs> I, I heard I just, its footsteps. Oh, oh no, dude. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I'm spinning with my TP. I'm spinning. Who's this fire did that? He's just watching me on the thing, dude. No, no. dude. It's only the tea kettle here. Yeah, all the rest fell. Every goddamn oh, bug in the universe on me. Dog, you did have every dog in the universe on you. <laughs> Why did he not TP me? He was he mad at you for some me. reason. He said, "I've got to let chips." He said, "I've got to let chips suffer because he screwed everybody yeah. over." He said, "You f Justin or something." Oh, okay. I see how it is. What's up about that? Stink. Oh. What is that? The beat is my recital. Um, gonna. I don't know how it goes. The only word I can think of rhyming with that, I don't want to say. I don't know what else to, to get. You ever hidden it from the back and she starts sounding like Pumpkinhead? Hey. Right? Am I not funny today? Nobody's laughing at <laughs> my jokes. <laughs> Wee. How does this 
Uh, it oh, 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 <laughs> he's ghost busting him, bro. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> It's like Dragon Ball Z, bro. <laughs> you have to pull it back. You can like drag it left and right. <laughs> oh man! Hey, if we find a shotgun guy, we need one. Hey! That's nice. Oh, what is that for? <laughs> You're right, Ryan. Send me in, bro. Oh. Okay, he needs to hit something, man. He needs to hit something. Me? Send oh, me in, bro. Let me hit that shit. Me looking at a picture of the Bracken. <laughs> Never fails, bitch. Load it up. Hands full. Me when I piss. My hands full of my, my dick. It's not full of my piss. I don't piss on my hands. Sorry, I kind of... Botch that a little. Hello? I don't piss on my hands. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> I just watched Ryan okay? die. That's a Venger. <laughs> Not spider. Oh, oh. I, I got my gun out. Watch out. Hang on. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Oh, no, you're hitting me! <laughs> Go, go, get it, get it, get it, get it! Fuck it up! No! <laughs> oh, no! I'm zapping it, I'm zapping it! I got Justin it, I got it! Oh, we only man. lost two people, that's not that bad. That well, we only Justin lost died. two. <laughs> <laughs> Justin died. No, that was good, that was good. My chat's telling me the horn is actually good for them. I think we did oh. it. We had three good them to the horn. That makes sense. So we got them out of the shit. Big oh, dog. Fuck, I gotta not fall to this. I'm gonna drop loot down if I can. Giant. We're in the guts. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, open vent, everybody. Open vent. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, 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 what? Up? What? On me, on me, on me. Stop. Wait, I need someone with a shovel. <laughs> come to me. Come, come to me if you have a shovel. Bro, you got the shovel. Well, come to me in general. Come to me in general. Oh, come to me. Come I to don't me. know where you are, man. Wait, wait, I was yelling at you. I know. Hey, I'm, I'm where I said we're in the guts. Oh, I see you lift, lift. Okay, Ryan, yeah. this is a bit big for us. Stop, don't go around this corner. Look on the roof. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk, let it hit your head, and then don't move. I'll save you. All right. My flashlight, bro. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Die, get it, get it, get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> oh. oh, God, I think it's the, it's the he's not so bad. I was the farting one. The farting one. Oh! oh, I can get him. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. <laughs> it was so good, dude. But I went around the. Best of luck, Ghibli. Holy fuck, bro.
careful, dude. There are worms down there. You're gonna want to take the pipe all the way home. Thank you so much. We got much. worms and we got dogs. How'd you get out? Oh no, man! It was the scariest thing I've ever been a part of. Dude, so I've been running down this pipe and dropping it at the ship, but there are dogs and uh, worms. Holy! And the ship's gonna take off soon. It takes off at midnight. Oh, okay. You know what? You lead the way. Oh yeah, yeah. Apollo got ate by a worm. Uh, it sounded like Corey passed away. In <clears throat> Chibli uh, got eaten by a spider. Are you? Oh no! You don't want to see that. <laughs> Hey, Apollo, you alive, bud? You alive there, Apollo? Oh my god, that was amazing to witness. It's that new quota. Holy. Holy. Oh, Jim was so close. Ooh, good year. Oh. That's probably like the year I'm going to die. Yeah, I hate that, actually. <laughs> you think you're making it that long? I'm not holding on one more year than that. Yeah, That's yeah. not even that far away. <laughs> I hope I don't make it that long, man. Hey, no way. I'm seeing 2860 fucking 80. 2860 fucking 80. That's, that's what that says. <laughs> He's pointing at it. This is a great thumbnail right there. Bye. We're in space, right? I can leave. I can leave. Yeah, yeah, you can leave. Okay, okay. It'd be sick if they went like, no! What are you doing? You're gonna kill him! Of course. That's why they call me the Terminator. All right, let me see. Hello. Hello, are you ready to stream? Smiley. 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 Hello, are you ready to stream? That's my 2068 voice. Hello, I would like some more honeydew melon, please. I would like some cantaloupe. Nurse, nurse. May I have a tuna salad sandwich, please? I'm just waiting for the day when I accidentally, like, implode my own vocal cords doing that like one of the cords ends up on top of one of the other ones and can't get unstuck hey <clears throat> hey got a minute hey hey drop a fry hey drop a fry <clears throat> what do you think your care home go-to order will be Italian wedding soup. Italian wedding soup, please. We're gonna do this for a bit because my wife says she needs a minute. Italian wedding soup. It's the soup with the little meatballs. Chilling with old NL. I think I'll be pretty funny in the nursing home, to be honest. If I don't like get hit by a car and die. I think if we were doing like dream blunt rotation in the nursing home, I would be close to the top pick. Cause everybody else, like in my head, this is how I dream it will work. Everybody else will have spent like 45 years being like an accountant or whatever. But I've spent 45 years just trying to entertain people with the most insane discourse possible. Like, imagine how good I'll be at that shit in 2068. Sam and Teriyaki will still be around? I hope so. We had some sushi on Sunday. And I got to tell you, I went against my normal philosophy. I got a bento box. Chicken teriyaki, 6 out of 10. Not bad. Not, a, not amazing. The gyoza, rare Japanese restaurant bento box gyoza dub. The gyoza was, I'm going to say, 7.5 out of 10. The tempura was an 8.5. They didn't fuck around with, like, here's, like, six vegetables you've never heard of. We, there was no pumpkin tempura. It was two shrimp and two yam. 
That's a beautiful assortment of tempura for a bento box. I give you, I give you props for that. It was um, the worst salad I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. It was like four lettuce leaves with some kind of like grainy orange salad dressing on top. I ate it all, but I was like, it's not fantastic. And then it was a dynamite roll, which has tempura shrimp in it, but it was like 85% mayonnaise based on the, the crab salad composition. I'm going to give that a 4 out of 10. Overall bento box, I'll say a 7.1. I would go to the restaurant again. I would not order a bento box. I don't know why they put so much mayonnaise in the sushi, honestly. I wish they put less mayonnaise in the sushi. I still, I know I've, I've said this many times in the past. I just wish that the default sushi roll in a bento box was just fish. I don't even care if it's like, you don't have to use premium quality fish. Just give me whatever fish people order the least and give me like six little maki pieces. You don't have to gas me up with like a, a dynamite roll or something like that. Just give me like, just give me four little, six little maki pieces in the bento box. I'd be so much more inclined to order it. Okay, I don't, I don't want Pollock on rice aroni. I don't know shit about art, okay? Yeah, what's up? Oh, okay, one moment, please. Mom found the salad drawer. Yeah, I'd be hopping. I'm starting to genuinely believe between the, the way my brain works, the idiopathic toe walking, and also Kate will tell you, my dad was not walking around the house age 35 the way I'm walking around the house. I'm, I'm hopping on one foot. I'm gathering a full head of steam and then sliding on my socks. I'm, I'm, I'm not locomoting in a, a very like normy manner a lot of the time. Or am I being gang stalked right now? Don't let them shame you for sock sliding. My wife shames me for sock sliding, but I think she's right because I wear out a pair of socks in like, I don't know, 10 uses would be my guess. And uh, it's always on the balls of the foot, which is where I put my weight on the slide. Classic. <laughs> I don't know what you thought. Maybe, I don't know, 10 uses seems right to me because I probably have like 20 pairs of socks. So 10 uses takes me like almost a whole year of using the sock. It's like seven months maybe. Yeah, that sounds right to me. That's not normal. I didn't say it was normal. I just said that sounds right to me. Mine get 200 uses. Okay. How many, how many minutes did you do in your Peloton annual this year? Because I did uh, 25. Hang on one moment. We still got a few days left as well, because 30 days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, and we're living in the 31 right now. Um, in the annual this year, hang on, I forgot how to use my cell phone. 25,172 minutes. That's fucking... One moment, please. Calculate. 5172 divided by 365. That's 14 minutes a day. <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry. No, 25, 25, 1, 7, 2, divided by 365. There you go. 69 minutes a day. You can't make this up. Abacus ass. Abacus! Okay. I'm going to send you over to my wife's stream. Enjoy the rest of your evening or your afternoon or whatever. I'll see you tomorrow. Later. I'm, what is it? My libido's gone berserk. I don't want to go to work. I don't want nothing to eat. Driving up and down the street. But only two weeks ago, two, three, you said you'd never leave me. Two, three, four, but here I am alone. One, two, then in this world of reckless happenstance, why do good things have to go away? Two, three, and leave you with nothing. Two, three, four, and she left me with nothing. If you know the word, sing along. Ah, uh, I got a spank
You ever listen to Prozac, man? That was a song, dude. 